Here's how they put them together at the Highland Park plant. A car comes off the end of the line every 10 seconds. Dealers sell them in just about every town in the land. There's no end to what you can do when you own a car. No longer locked on the land, the farmer's wife can get away from the farm for a while and take the baby down the road for a visit. Trucks take over the job of moving produce to market. Sunday afternoon drive becomes a national habit. This is the Columbia River Highway out in Oregon, built in 1917. Magnificent sights to see in America, and a car is the way to get there. Watch, that bear is hungry. For a real vacation, nothing beats a camping trip. Picnics in the park or alongside the lake. You can even sleep in a car if you want. Henry Ford and his friends go camping in style. President Harding arrives to pay a Sunday visit while they're in the Great Smoky Mountains. Here he is with Harvey Firestone. Ford chops wood for exercise. While Thomas Edison takes a snooze. Firestone offers some friendly advice. The president takes a turn with the axe. Ford, Edison, and the president read the papers. One way to keep them down on the farm, buy a tractor. They're selling more every year. Modern equipment speeds up the work, makes it easier and more efficient, too. Electricity does the chores for the farmer's wife.
and running water wherever you want it. No more trips to the pump. And no more churning for grandmother. There's a growing problem in the cities. What to do about all the traffic? Sometimes it seems to go like this. And there's a parking problem, even in small towns. The policeman has a new responsibility, directing traffic. Steps are taken to dramatize the need for safer driving. Special motion pictures show what can happen when we're not alert. The age of the automobile changes nearly every aspect of American life. The tempo quickens in city and country. No longer a luxury, almost everyone can afford to own a car. And sometimes it seems that we're all on the road at the same time. We're a nation on wheels, and soon to take to the air as a slim young man in a silver plane opens up new horizons. Here he is, Charles A. Lindbergh landing at the Ford Airport. Another pioneer gives us the courage to try something new. In no time at all, there are scheduled flights to anywhere you want to go. The dimensions of time and space are further diminished. A new age begins, and we move forward with it. Yet as we go, we preserve the past to mirror the accomplishments of those who have shown us the way to the future. 